Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday morning. Um, they were unable to find us a load yesterday. Uh, they found us a load today. It's supposed to be picking up between 1 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I believe. Um, and as you, a lot of you know, um, every other time I go out, Lita stays at home with the kids. So uh, I'll be bringing my friend along here today. Go ahead, don't be shy. Yeah, so he's going to be doing a lot of the uh, a lot of the work while I film and edit. So um, let's get to work. Right, guys it is uh tuesday like i was saying earlier with my buddy uh, he's in the back of the truck right now holding things down for me and i've got uh nula my other dog with me um dually's freaking out because he knows that she's leaving and he's not going anywhere uh, probably only going to be out for about a week though because that's all i have left on my uh, contract with this company but we're picking up in uh douglas georgia and we are running to uh Florence, Kentucky, I think it's called. Florence, maybe? I think I've been there before. Yeah, I think that uh, it's got that water tower that says Florence, y'all. I have to double check the rate so you can see. But uh, it pays $1,000. I think I figured up the rate. It's like a, like $1.41 a mile with deadhead and everything. Which isn't great, but I seem to always have to take a hit coming out. Uh, they called me uh, before this load. They actually called me yesterday and said that there was a load picking up in Warner Robins, uh, Georgia, going up to Massachusetts for like 1600 bucks. And I sat down and I figured out the rate on that. Uh, so my SD card got full. I had, to, <laughs> I had to delete some videos. I got to go through and clean this phone. But uh, I figured out the uh, rate on that. And it was like a dollar twelve a mile, a total of sixteen hundred bucks. I wasn't sure where Massachusetts was, so my dispatcher, you know, she called me and she's like, uh, "This is what we found. Do you want to take it?" I was like, "Well, I don't know." I said, "You tell me what to do." She's like, "Well, let's do this. I'll wait to the end of my shift today, and if we don't find anything, we'll take it." I was like, "All right, whatever. You're the boss." After I hung up the phone with her, I, I looked up where Massachusetts was and uh, how, how far it was to figure out how much I was going to make um, and after their, their 20% and the expenses to run the truck and all I was going to make like 12 cents a mile so I, I texted her back uh, a screenshot of the Google Maps and how far it was and I said did you say Massachusetts and she's like yeah that's why I asked I, and um, I was like uh I'm only going to make like 12 cents a mile. She's like, yeah, that's why I decided not to take it. So she'd already, I guess, sat down and figured it up too, which is cool. So um, they found us this load. So that's good. But uh, we're going to shoot over here and um, get loaded up and see if we can make money the last week with this company. All right, so here is the load we're picking up from uh, Douglas, Georgia, going to Florence, Kentucky. Uh, pretty simple, it's just a bunch of aluminum stuff. Not really sure what's in the box. Uh, I know that box weighs like 20 pounds maybe. And as silly as this seems, DOT wants you to see, uh, wants to see two straps per item, minimum. So even with, a, even with something as small as that, they still wanna see two straps on. Nothing too crazy though. Um, 
corner protectors on everything and I didn't put I didn't put anything back here my corner protectors are too big for that it's not really uh, it's not really gonna mess up anything there and then uh, yeah twisted all the straps except for the front ones up there honestly just wasn't even thinking about it but being that them 4x4s will probably be blocking the wind I don't think it's too big a deal so I have to drop this uh, by 3 o'clock tomorrow or I can't drop it tomorrow so I'm probably gonna drive as, as much as I can today and uh, oh, here's the uh, that's the generator I bought for that air condition the air conditioner uh, the one I had was a, was a lot smaller than this this weighs a hundred pounds uh, the other one I had was probably 50 pounds so the air conditioner probably weighs as much as my other um, generator did so this is probably uh, an extra hundred pounds since lead is not on the truck it's not really a big deal I'll probably have the truck weight again empty just to see uh, what I'm what I'm at but uh, my truck before weighed 15,600 pounds and um, whew, what's going on with this radio fat butts? and uh, the company even though I could carry 10,000 something pounds, the company still uh, only set me to 9,000 just in case. So uh, I'm sure I'm still way above being able to pull 10,000. So we're gonna hit the road. See you there. All right, guys. Well, uh, me and Nula picked up in um, Douglas, Georgia today, and we made it about an hour away from uh, Florence, Kentucky. Uh, we swung by a couple of uh, truck stops, and they were all full. I've never seen so many truck stops full. Of course, it is uh, 1030 at night, so we are actually at a Cracker Barrel. Um, I was watching a YouTube video of um, some guy that goes, that looked drives around living in a camper van and he mentioned that he stays at the Cracker Barrel parking lots um, and there just happened to be one down a couple exits from the last truck stop that I was at so uh, this is where we are and um, I just noticed as I was talking to lead on the phone about this load that we picked up um, I was supposed to tarp this load so uh, I guess I'll be waking up in the morning to tarp it to drive the extra hour to go drop it off. I think I got this load mixed up with um, the load that we just dropped off Saturday on the way home. I just, I didn't even look to see if it needed to be tarped, so that was my bad. But um, I'm going to finish watch it, uh, walking Nola here, and uh, we're going to get some sleep. Catch you in the morning. It is now the next morning. Nula does not want to eat her food. I took her for a quick little walk. And uh, this dog is afraid of everything. She's seen her own shadow <laughs> and tried to run. So every little no noise she heard last night, she woke up and it was like pacing back and forth on the bed. It's okay, baby girls. But we woke up, uh, woke up a little earlier and I threw a quick tar tarp job on this. We only have another uh, mile to go, or mile, another hour to go uh, before we drop this. So I wasn't um, too crazy. Oh, you guys can see these uh, patches I did. Uh, that tape seems to be holding up fairly decent. Of course, I've only used it a few times since then. Um, I don't know what it is, man. They, uh, 
I have to tarp pretty much every single load. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but the, the load that we dropped off that got us home this weekend, uh, it was that um, grain bin. They wanted us to tarp that too. You guys at the uh, place are like, uh, you're tarping this, right? I'm like, my paperwork doesn't show me tarping. They're like, yeah, you're supposed to tarp it. I'm like, paperwork doesn't show me tarping, you know? So I didn't tarp it. I mean, there's there's no money. I, you got to get paid to get to tarp, you know? This is, like I said, uh, this is uh, $1.41 a mile, I think. And that other one going... That grain bin, I can't remember what it was, but you gotta get paid for it, you know? But uh, we are still in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. Um, try to find something to eat and um, do pre trip. And we we're gonna drop this off in Florence. So, see you there? All right, guys, just got the uh, text message from uh, dispatch. Looks like we're going to uh, Louisville, uh, picking up there, and we're going to Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, it pays $12.50 and weighs 2,500 pounds. I'm not sure what it is. I don't like to look at the screen for too long when I'm driving. Um, and uh, I figured out with Deadhead, it's like $1.40. I think it's $1.43 a mile. But supposedly they already got me another load over there that pays two dollars a mile so um, hopefully it's not two dollars a mile for a hundred miles or something stupid like that hopefully it's two hundred two dollars a mile for you know a good distance to make up for driving from uh, Louisville Kentucky to Bridgeport Connecticut I think it's uh, 800 and 800 miles but it's like eight it was like 870 with deadhead so i've been running um so i got a new gps i got another garmin 580 i just uh the company sent me a new one because that other one was a piece of crap i don't know if this one's going to be any better or not but uh, what i've been doing is punching it in on my truck and on that garmin and uh, just trying to kind of compare and make sure one isn't lying to me. Uh, Google said that uh, the way that the Garmin was trying to take me, there was a big accident. It was going to add 50, 50 something minutes to the trip. So I followed the Google. The problem with the Google is you can't set it to uh, truck, you know, it just thinks you're in a car. So it's taking me back through some country roads right now, which is real pretty to see, but. There's some pretty tight turns and some little towns and stuff like that. So, but if it saved me 50 minutes, I guess uh, I guess I guess I can't complain too much. So, do some record and show you guys what we're doing, and uh, see you when we get there.